Hi, my name is Santiago. I am a product manager in the Helium development platform team, and I'm very excited to introduce you to our new and shiny developer tool, Helium Code Engine. Helium Code Engine is a continuous integration and continuous delivery tool based on Git version control, designed for enterprise customers who are looking to accelerate their journey towards modern software development using Cloud Foundry as their path of choice. You know, in this journey, our customers often tell us that they have now adopted agile methodologies like working on short sprints based on user stories. And while they feel their development is a little bit more agile, they do acknowledge that deployment is still a very arduous process. They are stuck in what we call water scrum fall. Agile development, but waterfall deployment. A great CI CD tool will help them successfully implement that transition as it cuts much of the red tape in the deployment process which will allow their teams to consistently ship faster and better product. So, how does Code Engine work? It's actually quite simple. It automates build, test, and deploy cycles after every single commit so the developer can quickly bring their ideas to life and focus on features and not process. For today's demo, I am going to be demoing uh, a simple app that we put together. It's a doggy adoption site. You can see it here, it's very endearing and I am going to be executing a change in the website. Now, um, to do that, obviously the first thing is to log in into the application. Let's go in. So when you first land in the dashboard, the first thing that you see is the projects that you're working on. If you click on view details, you will see a summary of the automation pipeline. That means that you will see where the repository is hosted. Right now it's on github.com, the branch where I'm committing the changes it's master, the type of application, also our deployment target. This one happens to be an on-prem installation of Helium Cloud Foundry on type of OpenStack. And uh, the members that are collaborating with me in the, in the project. In addition to that, you can see notification targets, uh, post-deploy actions, and a history of the builds that have happened in the past little while and the work that I've done in the app. I will cover a little bit later what notification targets are and what post-deploy actions are. But uh, before I actually execute the change, I wanna show you how you build this automation pipeline. So to do that, let's go back to projects and let's click on new project. The first step is obviously to name your project. So I'm gonna put here Docker test. And then you select your source control provider. Today we support github.com, GitHub Enterprise, and Git on-premise. Uh, for today, I'm gonna pick github.com. It loads all of the repositories that you have. Uh, in this case, I am going to be picking a node application. I pick node right here. The second step is to select your pipeline, meaning which uh, branch are you going to be merging your changes to? So I'm going to pick master, and then I'm going to select the project type. Today we support Node.js apps, Java apps, and Python apps. And this is a very important step because by selecting the type of application you're building, you are informing Code Engine which type of building and testing frameworks to use at the time of uh, the automation. In the future, we will be supporting other languages like .NET, Ruby, and Go to support all of the languages that Cloud Foundry does today. So let's go ahead and pick Node.js. I click Next, and then I can select my deployment target. So you can see that we have two options here. Uh, this happened because uh, Code Engine was smart enough to recognize that there was a Docker file in the repository. And by that, it gives you the option to use a Docker file to create a Docker image and then use Docker Hub as a deployment target. Uh, for today's example, I'm just gonna focus on the Cloud Foundry um, bit of, of this. And as you can see, I can select from a number of um, different uh, Cloud Foundry uh, installations. Uh, and that's really powerful actually because we do support hybrid cloud scenarios. You could select uh, Cloud Foundry Public Cloud a Cloud Foundry on OpenStack installation, and also a Cloud Foundry, Helium Cloud Foundry on top of AWS. For today's example, I'm gonna pick just uh, Cloud Foundry in, in our public cloud. Now we're gonna move forward. I could invite somebody to join my team uh, here and collaborate in the project. And finally, I can set up my notification targets. Notification targets are very important for us because the last thing we wanna do is replace the native environment where developers work. Chances are you've been spending the majority of your time on your command line and your ID, and you probably have a collaboration tool such as a HipChat or FlowDoc. If you prefer, we can send every single automation event directly to your collaboration tool so that you can just follow what's happening there and you don't have to log in into a third-party application. 
Then if I click save, it would save obviously the project, but we're not gonna do that because we already have the project save. So now let's go ahead and execute that change. Uh, I'm gonna go directly to the GitHub UI, github.com UI, and I'm gonna change the index file. I'm gonna click on here, click the button edit, then we're gonna do the little change, announcing the, the downsizing. There you go, we were too ambitious. And then here, I'm just gonna put update index. But what's interesting is we could either commit directly to the master branch as we've specified, or I can create a, a new pull request. And actually, this is one of the best features that I think we've built so far. Let me explain you why. When you submit a pull request, Code Engine is smart enough to create, trigger the typical automation, so the build and test automation. But at the same time, if, uh, if the build does pass the automation, pass the unit tests that have been specified, we will do a temporary deploy in your Cloud Foundry environment so that you can actually see the differences in the flash. So now instead of doing a cut difference evaluation, you can actually see what has been deployed, what the change was, and you can functionally test that change. That is a very empowering tool. If you like the, the change that has happened, then you can basically merge the pull request and Code Engine will delete that temporary deploy inside of a Cloud Foundry so that it, it, it uh, gives you extra space and redeploy the change into your original uh, installation. So let's see how that works. If we go back to the builds page, you will see that uh, it's going on. It passed the build stage. You can see here, because it's a Node.js app, we use npm install as a command. If we go to testing, you can see that we use the Mocha testing framework and you can look at all of the unit tests that, that were successful. And now if we go into, into HipChat, you will see that all of the notifications for the event happen, which is really cool. Now that the deploy has happened, let's go see um, the deploy itself. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a temporary deploy. You can see here that the URL that we serve you is a very ugly URL because we want to make it very obvious to you that this is temporary. Uh, as a developer and as a reviewer, I see that the code change is exactly what is intended. I like the user experience. I'm happy with this. I want to now merge it to my original deployment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to merge that pull request. I'm going to confirm the pull request and that is going to trigger again the automation. So if we go back to builds, you can see that it's building and testing again. And while this deploys to the original environment, I wanted to touch a little bit more on how you expand your automation pipeline. So if we go back to view details, we have this concept of post deploy actions. And uh, this is our, uh, our effort to try to integrate some of the other great software that Hewlett Packard Enterprise has out there. And give you the ability to do things beyond the deployment. So the first thing that we've integrated is StormRunner, which is basically a load simulator and load tester, which allows you to basically verify how your changes behave at scale. Imagine if you are shipping a big feature and you want to test uh, on, a, on a development environment how it's going to react at scale before promoting it to production. You would simply go ahead, enter your credentials, and the specify the load test that you want inside of StormRunner. And the moment we trigger the automation and it passes everything and it deploys, then we will run the, um, the automation for um, the post-deploy action. And if it passes and if you're happy, you can then promote that change to a production environment. So just to verify that uh, the deploy did work, we go back here and you can see that our real environment went ahead and, uh, and, and, was, and was changed with, uh, with the change that we wanted, and that took us just a matter of seconds. So to summarize, we believe that Helion Code Engine is going to be a tool for developers in the enterprise that is gonna help them bring their ideas quickly to life. What used to take weeks is gonna take minutes, and it's probably gonna help your team develop faster and better and more reliable product all the time. With all that said, thank you so much. This concludes the demo and uh, happy coding. If, um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate in reaching me. You can see my email and my Twitter handle there. Thank you so much.